Hi guys! So I'm at home for the weekend for my brother's birthday. We're just about to head off to London actually because we're going to see Phantom of the Opera. So I thought that while I'm home that I'd just kind of introduce you to my dogs, talk to you about their personalities and how they're very different. So first of all, this is Mango. She is a Cocker Spaniel, a red Cocker Spaniel, <laughs> who is absolutely lovely but she's completely crazy. She's almost 10 years old. So she's quite elderly now. And now I'll show you Tallulah. So this is Tallulah. Everybody loves Tallulah. She's a cockapoo. And she's around three years old, I think. And she's actually Mango's daughter. So now I'm going to talk about the differences between them. Because they're both very different, even though they're kind of similar breeds. So this is Mango. And although she looks kind of um, quite quiet at the moment, in reality, she is absolutely mad <laughs> compared to Tallulah. She is very naughty. She's very high energy. She loves long walks. She likes causing a lot of trouble. She often escapes the house and she's kind of a lot more difficult to call back when we let her off in the lead. But she also has tons of personality. I absolutely love her. She's incredibly loyal, really affectionate. She kind of makes you feel really loved because whenever you come downstairs she's all over you, so happy. She loves being with people. Um, that's one thing to note actually, both of them absolutely love people and they get super sad when they're not around people. So um, I think these are the kind of dogs you want if you're at home a lot because they'd hate it if you were away every day. Tallulah, on the other hand, she's a lot more quiet. She's um, very calm, it was very easy to train. Whereas Mango, although she's very smart, so she was incredibly easy to train to do tricks, like much easier than Tallulah, but Tallulah was a lot easier to just kind of house train. Tallulah really likes pleasing people, like pleasing her owner, and so she's not as naughty. But then Mango can do loads of tricks. Tallulah also doesn't mind just having short walks, like she could easily just have two short walks a day and be perfectly happy. She's um, a lot lower energy. Like, Mango needs quite a long walk per day to get rid of all her energy. But Tallulah does need a lot more grooming. Because of Tallulah's coat, she's half poodle, she needs to be groomed by a professional groomer about every two or three months, which is fairly expensive, so before you get a cockapoo, kind of bear that in mind. Whereas Mango doesn't really need to be professionally groomed. Although you do still need to groom them, like, once a week. Tallulah's a lot more of a kind of lap dog, she loves sitting on people's laps, whereas Mango would prefer to be kind of running in fields. Mango kind of reminds me of a really extrovert person, she loves doing stuff all the time, loves long walks and being with people. Mango is incredibly motivated by food, um, she absolutely would do anything for food. She She's stolen a lot of food, she's stolen tubs of butter, whole chickens, chocolate, you name it, she'll do absolutely anything for food, um, which is kind of what made her so easy to train, but then it does mean she's quite naughty in that respect. She does steal food from people's handbags, from anything. Whereas Tallulah doesn't really care that much about food. She sometimes doesn't even eat all her dinner. She's just not as motivated by food. She's more motivated by pleasing people. And they just love being with people. Even though they've got each other, and you may think, oh, they wouldn't mind being away from people. Um, they actually much prefer it when people are home and they actually have really bad separation anxiety so they're definitely not for people who want to be at work during the day or something but if you want to go for really long walks and live in the countryside and love all of that I'd say Mango is probably the kind of dog for you because Mango could be walking for absolutely hours um, she loves long walks she loves bike rides, she loves all of that. And when she does get a lot of walking and things, she's actually incredibly calm during the day. But if you live in a city or something, then I'd recommend a cockapoo or something like that. Because she'd be so happy with just walks in the park and things like that. Okay, so that's it now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel. I get so happy with every single new subscriber. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.